Hello everyone, welcome to another lesson of the Arabic language. This is lesson number 8. And in the past two lessons we saw four hard to pronounce letters. Unfortunately today we have another two hard to pronounce letters. So let's start with the first one. So um, this letter is writ written um, in the alphabet like so small hook then a small curve uh, sorry a big curve so you have it's a it's like a two big curves it's similar to the three just inverse you see just you flip it so it's like that if you ever forget just remember the three so the name of this letter is Ein Ain. It's uh, it also if you say Ain, it also means an I. So anyway, so this letter, this letter's name is Ain. Now the pronunciation is hard. The, pr the way you pronounce it is A. Ah. It's A. Ah. It's like the A, but it's it's deep from the throat with an A. Ah. I don't know how to explain more than that. Maybe later when I have special pronunciation lessons, I will show you the difference. But for now, it's ah. So it's ah, ru, ai, ah, ru. Hey. Okay. Now for the next letter, which is written the same way, but you have a dot above it, just like in the two previous lessons. We have the same way we write it. You just have a dot above it. Anyway. So, the name of this letter is Rain. Yeah, it's a bit hard also to pronounce. The way the the pronunciation is R. Maybe it's similar to the French R somehow, but anyway, it's R. So it's R, R, R. Again, the pronunciation is R, R, R. Okay. So let's move on to how we write that in a word. So, in the beginning of the word, it's j you just write one of these curve, and then you extend and connect it to the next um, letter. If it's in the middle of the word, here's yeah, here's a bit. It's a bit tricky. You can write it like this. Connect it from front by something. Then you go up and connect it like this. So the hook is basically leaning on a small tooth. So you, you do it like this. This is one way to write it when it's in the middle of the word. But the other way to write it in the middle of the word, I write it here. So you connect it from front. Then you do this kind of shape. Please follow carefully. You go like that, go back, go down like this, and continue. Hmm. Um. Well, it's it looks like a hammer, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure how to describe this shape. Anyway, again, I'm going to write this shape. So it's like this. See, this is when I write it fast. You cannot see a gap. Uh, in the middle, just like like so. So um, this is when it's in the middle of the word. Let's do it in the end of the word. It's actually this it's similar to the middle. So you go like this. You have a tooth. Then you hook it, and you continue with a curve. So it's like this when it's at the end, but. You can also do it the other way. 
which is uh, more common when written by um, by hand it goes like this then you go back and forth and hook so um, here you go there you go this is the ain which is a if I add a dot it will be a right Ayn. it's exactly exactly the same I'll do this move just one more time to just to re um, just to make it more clear again so let me do it alone so it goes like this you connect it you go up back down so this is it this is how we write it fast anyway so let's pronounce those letters one more time so this is Zain the pronunciation is A or U I this is fast let's go slow A or U I if you actually get the sound correct you will be like amazing because um, I've never seen anyone who speak um, who, who learned Arabic can say the sound uh, immediately he needs like maybe six months of training just to get the sound um, going correctly anyway let's add the dot and pronounce it it will be ra ru ri oops I did the same mistake ri so it's ra ru ri and the name is rain well that's it for today I hope you enjoyed it um, take care